How about the Metallica box set there? Yeah. You guys have good stuff, but it's so expensive. <laughs> Good afternoon, guys. Uh, my name is Brennan. I am addicted to buying low and selling high. Uh, it is Thursday afternoon, August 27th, I believe. Um, I'm going to go hit another thrift store today. I'm going to go to Valley Thrift, which used to be one of my absolute favorite thrift stores to hit. Um, this store always has great stuff. They always do. The problem is it's all almost always way overpriced for a thrift store. But we're going to go ahead and give it a shot, see if we can find some things within the margins. Let's see what we can find. What do you want to look for? Huh? Toys. Sand too much for a thrift store. Should be like three dollars. How much are the Nintendos down there? Twenty-eight ninety-nine. Do, do they have anything with them, or is it just just a console? How about the Metallica box set there? Yeah. You guys have good stuff, but it's so expensive. <laughs> um, I need Nate to the front for a carry How much is that little keyboard back there? I need Nate to the front for a carry on. $79.99. I see that for a second. You guys still have half off days? Um, Mondays, 25%. Monday, 25%. And then holidays are half off? I think. I just don't know. Today's my second day, so huh. I'll learn everything out here. You're doing great. <laughs> Thank you. All right, guys. So, like I said, that first store is really great. You will always find something in that store. It's just a matter of will you be able to find things priced correctly enough for you to actually make some money off of it. Um, so we did actually f come away with quite a few quite a few little finds here that I'm going to show you. Um, nothing's a, a home run, but these are all these are all the singles and doubles that you need to continue um, you know kind of building up your bankroll. I mean this everything's not going to be a home run. So you got to be able to find some of those lower margin things um, that still do well for you. Um, so the first thing, actually my wife found this, uh, she is neglected to be on camera though. Um, so this Cascade um, lacrosse helmet, uh, she paid $8.99 for it, and I've got some of those comps up there for this one. So that was a pretty cool find. This is a, uh, it's got the 7 padding on the inside, I'm not sure if you can see that or not. Um, but yeah, this looks like a pretty solid, pretty solid find. She also found this uh, Bart Simpson cake pan. I mean, can you really go wrong with a Bart Simpson cake pan? And it was 69 cents. So, got some of the comps up there. This one is, it's it's hit or miss, but at that cost, you know, if you don't sell it, you make a cake and, and you're all good. Uh, so yeah, the wife actually found quite a few things here. So this was a pretty cool find that I would have completely 
walked right past. Uh, so this is Samantha's desk, uh, the vintage American Girl doll, Samantha. Um, this is super heavy. Um, it's got a lot of weight to it. And that's one of the things you definitely want to look for um, when it comes to those old timey furniture and things like that. If it's got some weight to it, it's usually worth trying to look up and figure out what it is. Um, so we paid $6.99 for this one. Now what I will say, there's nothing on this that tells you this is an American Girl. Um, so either you have to know it, or one trick you can use. Um, most phones now, at least mine, um, has this Google Lens as a part of its camera setting. Um, so what I'll do, if I don't know what something is, I will open up my camera, I'll go to the lens, I'll take a picture of it, and usually um, something comes up so I can see exactly what it is and then I can look it up from there. So it's a little extra tip for you guys. Uh, now this takes probably takes a lot of you guys pretty far back here. Um, got the old school CNC. Say. See if it works. Awesome. Uh, this was a dollar ninety nine. This one is kind of all over the board as well, um, but I like things at that low of a cost. You don't have to test it. Um, you know, there's no batteries or anything like that to check. It's it's a pretty safe, pretty safe purchase. Um, and yeah, so we'll see. Um, this really, you'll find a lot of pots and pans um, at thrift stores, obviously. Uh, it's just a matter of going through them and kind of looking at the uh, the models and whatnot to, to um, decide which ones to pick up, as well as the cost. Um, I'm pretty sure I had one in the video where you can see they were asking $20 for it. I'm not paying $20 for a a pot at a, uh, at a thrift store. Uh, so this one was $4.99. And this is a Belgique, sounds right, Belgique. Um, this is a little 10 inch pan. Um, so this is in really nice condition and that name seemed like it could be, I mean it sounded pretty hoity-toity, so decided to look that one up. So we've got some of the comps uh, showing up for that one as well. Uh, in that same vein, got a nice little whistling tea kettle. Uh, these typically do pretty well. Uh, this one was $4.99. Uh, this was a master class. Um, so I wasn't super familiar with that brand, but very easy to look it up and see. Um, all right, we've got another random toy here. Um, this is one I, I did not know what it was, uh, so I used my Google Lens trick and uh, told me that this was a Barbie hot tub from 1983. So this was $1.99, and I've got some of those comps up there. And last but not least, got these three little figurines here. Um, they were in a bag for $3.99. Um, I looked up one um, in the store. The, uh, the first footer is the name of this one here. Uh, this is the International Resourcing Services, Inc. Never heard of it before. Uh, but this guy here sells for, for 12. Um, so I need to still have to look up the rest of these three. Um, let's see here. We've got the three kings. And then we also have Babushka, which is just a lot of fun to say. Babushka. Um, so thank you guys very much for watching. I think that's it for this video going to get these things uh, pictured and listed, and uh, hopefully another video soon showing how much some of these sold for. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe, leave any comments, feedback below. I really do appreciate it. See you guys again soon.